Hey everyone, I'm here at Mudwater today. We're hosting Brian Johnson, and I also have the incredible James Wilkes here today. Thank you for coming. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Talk a little bit about what you've been up to. Uh, so there's a couple of things we're working on. We're working on Game Changers 2, uh, which is going to focus on you know what, what we eat and what that does to the planet, really focused on the sustainability. Because um, as you know, there's a lot of sort of alternative uh, out there where people are saying, oh, we can just eat regenerative beef or something and all this nonsense. So we want to really demonstrate and show how big a difference what you eat can affect the planet. Um, so Game Changers 2, that's through our nonprofit, the Game Changers Foundation. And uh, the other thing we're working on is Fighter, which is a, um, a protein brand. Mm -hmm. So we're using upcycled American barley, wow. which is the world's most sustainable protein per life cycle analysis. So less water use, less land use, less pesticide use, less emissions than any other protein on the planet that's commercially available. So yeah, excited about those two things. <clears throat> we're also doing a lot with the, the nonprofit. So we're um, helping the 2024 Olympics. Uh, we're, uh, we partner with the Green Sports Alliance, which is a large nonprofit, uh, looking at the greening of sports from composting to uh, you know, now looking at plant-based diets, so because uh, they know that's the number one thing that anyone can do really to help the planet. So yeah, busy. Got a lot of uh, got a lot of stuff going on. Sounds like 2024 is going to be busy. When is Game Changers 2 coming out? 2025 is the date. So we've been doing a lot of pre-production, and we're just starting to shoot um, in April, and uh, then go from there. So hopefully 2025 um, and go from there. So I'm excited about that. Amazing. And how do we fight the disinformation regarding plant-based? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, a lot of it's emotional, right? People are so tied to the um, tied to the way of eating. So a lot of times we found it's like the messenger is the message. So it depends who's saying it, you know, and the language that they're using, the types of language. So we found like with young men, if you say you've got to care for animals and be compassionate, that doesn't really resonate. But if they're the protector uh, and the defender of, of the animals and the planet, that resonates better. So it's interesting. It's not just about the information. It's about who's saying it and what and the way that the words are being said. I mean, the facts are on our side, you know, plant-based eating is better both for the health, uh, for the planet, and of course for the animals. And so uh, I think it's got to win, right? Don't you think? I agree, 100%. Well, thank you so much for being here today, and I'm looking forward to uh, the Brian talk. Awesome. Thanks awesome. For, yeah, of course. Anytime. Yeah, anytime. Appreciate it.